Utah State University is making a push toward better diversity, equality, and inclusion, with an all-new department being named after that. New specialist Mike Anderson talked with their very first vice president over that department today about those plans for the future. Yeah, Ashley, and you know how those plans will uh, move forward here at Utah State is still yet to be determined. You know, Dr. Jane uh, Irungu, I want to make sure I say that right, has held similar jobs at other universities. But how that program is shaped here, you know, students and staff will all have a part in making sure it's unique to this school. Nearly 30,000 students across eight campuses, and each one at Utah State University will have their own unique experience. But a big effort is underway to try and make sure no one is hindered because of who they are. What I'm looking for is a culture change in, in the way we do things, the way we interact with others. Dr. Jane Irungu is USU's first ever Vice President of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. So DEI is not a thing, it's, it's not a box that we check. She says the path ahead is important. These are practices, systems, uh, ways of doing things uh, that we look at to make sure that every single person has their voice included. Students, faculty and staff will all make up a diversity council to build USU's roadmap toward these goals. Dr. Urungu says these efforts are not political. They'll need everyone's help in making a culture change here. It should not be controversial to teach people fairly. It should not be controversial to have equitable practices. But we can't forget where we've been and how far we've come. Uh, has to be contextualized within the history of America, uh, the history of the civil rights, the history of discrimination of some groups. She says none of those things should get in the way of who we can become. Your past experiences should not dictate your future. It really should be uh, an opportunity uh, for a better future. And Dr. Urungu was uh, born and raised in Kenya. She became a teacher and a school principal there before she came out here, became, uh, held similar jobs over diversity and inclusion at the University of Oklahoma and University of Oregon.